Hello and welcome to a numbers edition of Apple a Day. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to use the X lookup function to find the last cell in a column which contains a value. This is useful if you're entering in a series of values but are only interested in the most recent entry. I have a very simple real-world example right here. It's a weight loss table. In the first column, you can see I have dates for the month of January. And in the second column, I'm entering in my weight for each day. Right now, I'm only up to January 5th. And if you look down at the bottom, I have a cell for the target weight. I set that to 185. And below that cell, I want to be able to calculate how much weight I still have left to lose. So I need to subtract this target weight from the last weight that was entered. Unfortunately, there's no built-in formula for this. I thought about using the minimum value of the weight entries, but then I realized it might fluctuate and the lowest weight might not necessarily be the most recent weight. So we're going to use the X lookup function, which will search for a specified value and return a match. And that specified value would be the last cell in this column containing a value. So we'll go to the cell where I want to add this formula and I'll type in the equal sign to bring up the formula editor. Then I'll type in the function name xlookup. Note that we're using xlookup instead of just lookup because xlookup has a few more options that we'll be needing. I'll press return and yikes, look at all those parameters. But don't worry, I'll go through them one by one. The first parameter is the search value. This is, of course, what we'll be searching for, and we want to be able to find the last non-blank cell. In order to do that, we'll be using something called regex, that's R-E-G-E-X, which is the function used for regular expressions. A regular expression is a way to perform complex searches for text, and is actually very common, though not too easy to learn. I'll come back to this. For the time being, I'll just enter in a couple of double quotes. Then press the tab key to move to the next parameter, which is the search range. Here, I want to select the cells underneath the weight column for the entire month. I'll click on the first cell and drag down until I have the full month selected. Then I'll press tab to move to the next parameter, which is the return range. This is handy if the value you want returned resides in a different column from the search range. But in this example, we want the return range to be the same, so I'll just select the same cell range again. Then press tab one more time to move on to the next parameter, which is the if not found parameter. This is what will be displayed in the cell if the search value is not found. If there isn't a match, we'll need a numeric value, so I'll just select the target weight cell. So in the event that no match is found, it will still return the value of 185. Pressing tab again, we move on to the next parameter, which is match type. Clicking on it displays a drop down menu of options. Here we need to select wildcard, which is required in order to use the regex function for the search value. I'll change it to wildcard and press tab to move on to the last parameter, which is search type. Clicking on search type also displays a drop down menu of options. So we want the regex function to find the last cell containing text. But it's actually much simpler if we reverse it and find the first cell containing text if we start from the bottom and move up. So we're going to change the search type to last to first. Then after the closing bracket for the xlookup function, we're going to subtract the target weight. So at the end, I'll type in the minus sign and then select the target weight cell. And then I'll press return and let's see what we get. It returns a value of minus 185. Well, that's because it's returning the first match for an empty cell, which numerically is just zero and then subtracting 185 from that. So based on what we entered into the xlookup function, it does appear to be working. All that's left to figure out is what the regular expression should be. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail regarding regex, but I will try to explain what we're doing in this specific scenario. So I'll double click on the formula to edit it, and then I'll replace these quotes with the word regex, R-E-G-E-X, and press return. And the first parameter is the regular expression text. So since we know this is a numeric column, we're interested in finding a cell that contains zero through nine, as well as a decimal point or period. So in this regular expression string parameter, we need to tell it to find this range of characters. To do this, you have to put the series of characters within square brackets. And the entire expression must be within double quotes. So first I'll type in an opening double quote, then the opening square bracket, and then type in a zero and a dash, 
and a 9, and that will look for the range of 0 to 9. And then we want to add the period, but a period is a special character in regex, so we need to precede the period with a backward slash. So I'll type in a backward slash and then a period, and then type in the closing square bracket. So this will find any character that is 0 to 9 or a period. Now that's not going to completely work because that's only finding a single character and we need the entire number in the cell. So the next character I'm going to type in after the closing bracket is a plus sign. And this will search for one or more of the preceding value up to the end of the line. So whatever we define inside the square brackets, putting in the plus sign tells regex to find that value multiple times up to the end of the line. And that's it. We just need to add a closing double quote and then press return. And we get 38.1 as a value. The last cell with a value contains 223.1. I'll subtract 185 and that gives me 38.1. Awesome, it works. I'll enter 200 in the next date and press return and that should give me 15. And it does. And there you have it. A way in Apple numbers to find the last cell in a column containing a value. By the way, if your column is not numeric, you might have to use a more complex formula for regex. I'm not going to explain the details of it, but this will work for text-based cells. An opening round bracket, a period, a shift backslash for the pipe character, and then a backslash, a lowercase s, a closing round bracket, an asterisk, and a period. Put that in quotes as your regular expression, and that will work for any type of cell. In the description below, I put in a link to regex101.com, which is a great website and is extremely helpful and informative, and it also lets you test out your regular expression formulas. Well, that's it for today. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. I'm John Martins, and I'll see you in the next episode of Apple a Day.